I had been praying for you well before we first met at the coffee shop. A scared girl fell to her knees and completely surrendered her life to Jesus, and ever since then she chose to follow and trust his plan for her life. About a year later, that girl met you in the most unconventional way possible. Jacob, from the moment that I met you, I knew something was unique. I mean, I told Haley after our first date that I just met my future husband. From our first conversation, I felt like the only person in the world. You made me feel heard, you made me feel valued, and ever since then, you continue to make me feel that way. You easily became my best friend. I know what this is. <laughs> oh, okay. Julia, I love you wholeheartedly, and I'm the luckiest man alive to have gone through this journey with you. It's been an eventful ride so far. We met in 2021, you're engaged in 2022, and here we are in 2023, married. The Lord's timing is perfect, and I know we both felt that this was going somewhere pretty early on. We've been each other's strongest and most consistent supporters and confidants. We'll have many more seasons of blessings and seasons of hardships. At times you'll be annoyed with me and vice versa, but I know the Lord will continue to multiply our love and trust for each other through this lifelong adventure. Speaking of the Lord, I've been praying to him for a wife from the time I was just about a nine-year-old boy. I prayed for a passionate, empathetic, joyful, driven, adventurous, beautiful woman to spend my life with, one that loves my heart and loves me for me. I prayed for a woman I can serve joyfully during a lifelong commitment sanctified by him, one I could share my passions with and vice versa. Without a shadow of a doubt, my prayers have been answered in spades. I know you are the woman I prayed for throughout my life. God has truly blessed me with your kindness, patience, peace, and overflowing joy. Jacob, a life with you is going to be filled with adventure, love, and creativity. You always push me to be the best version of myself. We have a relationship that our children can look up to and know what a biblical relationship will look like. Jacob, you have shown me what it is like to be loved with Jesus at the center of our relationship. I can only hope that everyone can experience this type of love. You have held my hand while I learned to accept this type of love and feel worthy enough to be loved the way that you love me. I feel like vows are supposed to be promises that we can make to one another. And though I'm certain that I could come up with a list a mile long of cute things that I can promise you, I also know that I am an imperfect person and that there is no possible way to promise to do all of those things all of the time. I'm going to mess up, but what I can promise you is that I will love you every single day in the best way that I humanly know how. So I vow to always be there for you and be your biggest supporter and cheerleader. I vow to always view your dreams and goals as my own and help you reach those the best that I can. I vow to still always be goofy and silly and be my silly self and pull that side out of you. I vow to give you all that I am for as long as I am, as, um, as long as I am still here on this side of heaven. But Jacob, I vow to always put my relationship with Jesus first. I love you more than anything this world will put in front of us. About a month ago, I rediscovered this journal in my notes I wrote in 2016. Love isn't sweaty palms and sleepless nights. Love is the decision you make to care for someone apart from yourself, no matter what or how you feel. You will still choose to love them selflessly. This is the love I'm committing to you. I'll always strive to choose you and to choose unconditionally and freely without expectations or strings attached. This love isn't transactional. It's to be freely given, without promises of something in return. Julia, I commit to always be by your side. I promise to constantly improve myself by turning to the Lord in order to look more like his son so I can love you like he does. With that said, I have a couple more promises. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm proud to watch The Office with you, even if it's an episode you're hyper fixated on. We've already watched it eight times. 
and I vowed to one day go through my massive Lego and Bionicle collection <laughs> to see which ones I can sell and which ones I want to keep for our kids. Give me some grace and time with that last one. <laughs> to reel it back in, <laughs> I'm almost done. I want to highlight the great community of people around us today. These people flew halfway around the world to celebrate us and I wanted to remind ourselves that this will be our greatest support system moving forward. These are the ones that will help us through the, our lowest times ahead and will also celebrate our lives' greatest achievements. Julia, I love you wholeheartedly. I'm the luckiest man on earth to turn towards the future with you by my side. I love you so much. first time in the last 24 hours <laughs> to kiss your bride. <laughs>